Hello, everybody. Welcome to The Political Vigilante. My name is Graham Elwood. This article was submitted by Patreon member Crafty Geek. You can support the show, too, at patreon.com slash Graham Elwood and submit really interesting articles like this. So um, why you never see your friends anymore, and I'm going to go into it in a second, but um, it, our unpredictable and overburdened schedules are taking a dire toll on American society. And what this basically is going into is how we're, we're, we're so overworked, we're losing our sense of community. We have this online community here with the political vigilante. But what this article talks about is this is like Stalin did this. <laughs> when he first, like in the early 20s, when he first was like forming the Soviet Union, he had he got rid of the five-day work week and everybody having the same weekend and had everybody shifting. So there was no time when like the majority of society was off because they were worried that you know, people hanging out together, family reunion, getting together on the weekends and clubs that, oh, they might, they might, you know, uh, revolt <laughs> against the powerful, against whatever. So they, that was a way to do that. And that's been done again. I say about it all the time. Look, the, the ruling class wants to keep us divided, distracted, and afraid. That's why. The media does that. The media keeps us divided, distracted, and afraid. That's why they want us fighting with each other. Red state, blue state, liberal, conservative, black, white, male, female, gay, straight, you know, whatever. Um, they want us all fighting with each other so we don't get together and go, wait a minute, it's the ruling class. It's those people up there. It's those billionaires that are screwing us over. Another way that they do that is having us work to the bone. This gig economy, why they have eviscerated unions. Unions have not only been a huge part of the labor movement, obviously, but unions were always integral in organizing social movements, civil rights, right? Civil rights, one of the things that started in the civil rights movement was the, the um, there was a bus strike, there was a garbage strike in the South, the garbage men strike. That was, a union got together and, it, and a lot of it was like most of the garbage men were, were black and the city officials were white and so they, they realized we got to get rid of unions because this community, people are going to start organizing and rising up against us. That's why we're, everyone's working two, three jobs. And if you got a regular nine to five job, tell me a nine to five job where you just work 40 hours a week. Most people got to clock in 50, 60 hours a week. So they're going to go into some studies to show this. A 2018 review of the retail sector called the Stable Scheduling Study found that 80% of American workers paid by the hour have fluctuating schedules. Right? I never see my spouse or my kids because they're off this day, I'm on this day. Right? I'm sure many of you watching are, have this story to tell. Many employers now schedule hours using algorithms to calculate exactly how many sets of hands are required at a given time of day, a process known as on-demand scheduling. Constantly working, constantly working. Again, even if you got a decent salary gig with benefits and every second. They're always asking you to work a little more and a little more and a little more. A survey of 1,600 managers and professionals, 92% reported putting in 50 or more hours a week and a third logged 65 hours or more. So this study just about what I was just saying. It's not the 40-hour work week anymore. So what does it do? We're always work. We're stressed out. We can't enjoy our lives. Why everyone's like, why aren't you doing yellow vests in America? Why aren't you rising up like they're doing in Chile and Lebanon and Ecuador and, and France? We're too busy. We don't have time. And if you and if you protest, you lose your job and you lose your insurance and this, that, and the other thing. So it keeps us overworked, divided, distracted, and afraid, and we can't rise up. We can't rise up. A body of research suggests that children whose parents work odd or long hours are more likely to invent behavioral or cognitive problems or be obese. This isn't a mistake. This is by design. Get our kids. And then what do we do? We then the pharmaceutical companies come in and say, oh, I got all this meds, met up your, met up your kids, narc them up. 
tune them out, video games, this, that, and the other thing, eating crappy food, like it all, we're all divided and distracted and on our phone, just working and then it never, it never ends. That's so we don't have time to go, man, we got to rise up. We have 10 years to completely overhaul the entire planet to prevent Maybe we have a shot at preventing climate, complete climate collapse that will wipe out the human race. We're in the middle of climate collapse right now. We have less than 10 years. Some scientists say two or three years or five maybe. We should all be rising up in the streets, but we're too overworked. That's by design. And we don't have time to spend with our kids or our kids have behavioral problems. Both parents got to work all the time most, most, in most instances. Even if one parent gets to be a stay at home, that means the other parent is still, there's still one parent and kids need to, it's that they're not, the kids aren't getting access to. Or the parent comes home and is wiped out and barely has time to play with the kids. It is a cliche among political philosophers that if you want to create the conditions for tyranny, you sever the bonds of intimate relationships and local community. This isn't a mistake. This is the ruling class, right? Don't rise up. Get more mad about your sports team. Get, get wound up that the ref screwed your team in the big game. Don't worry that you that they took away your benefits. and the, Don't worry about that. Don't worry about that, that, that there's high-speed rail in Russia and China that I've ridden on, but there isn't high-speed rail in America. Don't worry about that. Get mad about who Taylor Swift is dating and this, that, and the other. Just, just, just sweat it out and go to job and don't, don't, don't rise up. Sever the bonds of intimate relationships and local community. That's how you create tyranny. All it takes is for us to stand by while unbridled capitalism rips apart the temporal preserves that used to let us cultivate the seeds of a civil society and nurture the sadly fragile shoots of affection, affinity, and solidarity. Wake up. They want us asleep. They want you in denial. They want you thinking everything's great or you can't, it's too big to fix. Rosa Parks one day just went, nope, <laughs> nope, sitting down, I ain't, I ain't moving. <laughs> Rosa Parks said, I ain't moving. Teachers have been striking in cities and states all over the country, and they've been winning. Chicago just won. We got to rise up. We got to form unions. We got to form coalitions. We got to form groups. We got to get involved on a local grassroots level. Because they want us divided. They want us overworked. They want us fried. They want us to not have enough time with our kids. I saw parents taking small children to go see Greta Thunberg speak. It was impressive. It was impressive. And they don't want that. They want you back home, scared, whatever. Thanks for getting your news here. Thank you for submitting Crafty Geek, a proud Patreon member. Support the show at rockfin.com slash Graham Elwood, a blockchain cryptocurrency platform. And of course, as I mentioned, patreon.com slash Graham Elwood. Like, share these videos, hit the subscribe button. Even if you have before, YouTube is unsubscribing people at an alarming rate. Hit the bell notification button. I go live, super chat every Sunday, 3 p.m. Pacific. And of course, Progressive Comedy Tour is coming to Australia November 14th. Melbourne, that show is almost sold out. The 15th, we're in Adelaide. The 17th, we're in Sydney. The 22nd of November, we are in Perth. And then December 13th, we are in Ventura Harbor Comedy Club. December 14th, Ron Placone and I are in Hollywood at the Sycamore Tavern. All tour dates are at GrahamElwood.com. Thank you so much for watching.